Hey what is up guys, Fiestasha here and today I got a very special tutorial for those of you who are just trying to begin your new YouTube channel but don't really have any equipment to begin the YouTube channel with or anything to even record the screen or record your voice with, alright? So, <clears throat> here you can see some free programs. You have Audacity right here. You have Movie Maker, then there's Microsoft Expression Encoder 4, and here's the editor for Microsoft Expression Encoder 4, which is the program that I'm using to record this video right now. Now, I would be including these programs right here, but unfortunately they are broken and they do not work right, so we're not going to be including them in this video. All right? But first, I'm going to be showing you Audacity. Audacity is an actual program that allows you to mess around with your voice and it allows you to actually put out a tune or whatever you want to your voice to make it sound different. All right here, I'll show you. Hello, 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 testing, testing, one, two, three, testing. Alright, so here we have my recording. And let's say I want to add like a pitch effect to change the pitch. Here you can choose from the different effects that you can add to your voice. But I'm going to go ahead and add a pitch effect, and let's say that I want to actually make it sound more heavy, like a heavy voice, alright? So here we go, we change the voice, and let's play it. Hello, 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 testing, testing, one, two, three, testing. And as you can see right here, that changed the voice. You can change it to many other things according to what effects they have on the actual tool toolbar here. And you can just mess around. It's a really cool actual software program, and I really, really recommend it if you're trying to do machine learning or whatever, right? But moving on from this, oh by the way, everything will be down below in the description, all right? So you don't have to worry. But moving on, I'm going to be showing you Movie Maker now. Now, Movie Maker it is not an actual, you know, professional type of program, so don't just get your hopes up real quick but it does have some tools that may actually help you start a YouTube channel all right and you can just drag the screen to make this big right here you can drag your videos in here to actually edit them right you can put on the webcam you can turn on the webcam and stuff like that to actually make like blog videos or whatever you can take snapshots with the webcam of yourself or anything that you would like to take a snapshot of you can add titles there's captions credits you have a little you know, thing here, you have options for the credits, you can add transitions or movie themes, you can have a whole bunch of options right here, and here you can upload to YouTube, I don't recommend actually using this, uh, it's just save your video and then upload it to YouTube from somewhere else, because this doesn't really actually work, so, yeah. Here you have transitions, you can add transitions to add like a little glare to your video, you know, just give it some spice or whatever. You can put the duration of the transitions. You can add pan and zoom, which is basically just zooming on different parts of the video. Here you have the actual effects. They're more like filters. I wouldn't actually say visual effects, but they're more like filters, kind of like Snapchat, but hey, whatever. Still works. I, I'll, I will explain about this in a, uh, I'll, you know what? I'll just explain it now, right? This thing actually pops up with the program, uh, you know, the Microsoft Encoder 4. It will actually keep popping up unless you actually change your color scheme. Alright, I'm not going to be changing my color scheme yet, just for the sake of this video, because I am on a test schedule, so, yeah. But here you can do emphasizes on anything. You can emphasize the music, which is basically just, you know, making it fit to your video, basically. You can emphasis. But I don't have a music to show you with, so yeah, just go ahead and experiment with this, alright guys? This is a really easy program to use, and you'll be, you know, you'll be savvy with it in no time, alright? <clears throat> now I'm going to show you the Microsoft Expression program. And this is what the recorder looks like. It has like a tiny tab on it, basically. As soon as it opens, maybe I can go here and open it. Okay, right. but you can see it. it's just it's just the small tab with like some options or whatever. It's about this big, basically. And it has the options to put on your mic, your webcam, all your videos will be showing there and stuff like that. And here will be an actual view of the actual editor here. Sorry about that. I will put a picture on the screen for you right now so that you can see what the actual recorder looks like. Uh, it's, apologize for the long wait guys, my computer is not really that fast. 
Hey, it is a piece of crap computer. Right. But here you have the actual recording editing software. Okay. Now, <clears throat> there's a few. There's actually one thing, not a few. That you, well, actually, yes, there actually is a few things that you need to know about this program, right? But I'm going to start with the most annoying one. Okay. There is a time limit on how much you can record with this program, which is about four to five minutes. All right. But you can get around with it. There is a product key that you can actually put in and then it will allow you to record as much as you like depending on your processing speed and your actual storage space right so what do you do to put the enter key or the product key in there you go to help and then you go to where it says enter product key right and here's the product key right here I will leave it down below in the description or if you want to go ahead and actually type it in right now you can do so right now pause the screen and just type it in right but moving on I'm just going to go press continue right here. Now, there is another thing that you need to know for rendering videos. The best quality, the best option that you need to choose from will be right here. All right, so click on the little arrow right here, encoded quality, go to best, scroll down to encoding for devices, open the little arrow, open the little arrow on WMV. And goes to the one that says Xbox 360. Now, don't worry about it saying Xbox 360. This works for any video. It's just for some reason says Xbox 360. Okay, but then after you finish all that, hit apply, and then your video should get bigger, like right here. And then after you're done with that, all you have to really do is just boom, hit encode, and it will start encoding. And the encoding speed will actually pan once more on your processing speed and your hard drive speed okay you can also add you know overlays however the only thing that annoys me about this program is that you can only add one overlay you know during video editing so if you want to actually add another overlay you're going to have to add it you know edit it again and encode it over again which is an annoying thing about this program but guys, that is basically it for this tutorial. Hopefully you guys can actually use this program to start your own YouTube channel and have better edited videos, hopefully. But thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Let me know if this video helped you. And I am out. Peace.